What is going on guys? Check out U4GM for the cheapest and most reliable FIFA 20 coins. Use my code FOOTFOOT for 5% off. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode 13 of my Manchester United FIFA 20 career mode series. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on today's video. Always appreciate you lads that leave a like on the video as we've got a big game against Liverpool. And guys, look at the top four now. Well, Leicester City is... They're top. They're still top. Don't forget what Leicester did, what they did a few years ago, yeah? Uh, winning the Premier League. But we're up there. Chelsea, Liverpool, Spurs in sixth. So Everton's doing all right. So really, apart from Manchester City and maybe Arsenal, but Arsenal... I don't even rate their squad, to be honest. Manchester City is starting to push up now. I think ever since that game they played against us, they're playing their proper 11 now. I think, I'm guessing anyway, because they're starting to get wins. They're starting to get wins. So, yeah, it's not looking too unrealistic. Not majorly anyway, compared to maybe most saves. Uh, a lot of... I've seen some people where Manchester City get relegated, which is crazy. But, yeah, things are starting to sort out right now. So, it doesn't look like Man City will get relegated. <laughs> so, yeah, this save will be looking all right, not unrealistic, I suppose, for next season. Uh, if Manchester City got relegated, you might wonder that. But anyway, we've got a game against Liverpool. But saying what I said about Arsenal as well, they did beat us in the last game, which was a very, very tight encounter. Uh, but we're going to head in. Do we use the alternate kit? All black. Come on. Yeah, we'll go with the all blacks like we're, like we're from New Zealand. Come on. <laughs> I can't help myself making references, man. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, ultimate difficulty. Don't forget we're playing on as well. And yeah, this is really our best side. Uh, best side, I reckon. Uh, McTominay, we're still we're still looking to develop him. So I want to see how will the dynamic potential come into play. Because we've played him pretty regularly. What we've noticed at most in is maybe Jaden Sancho because he's played very regularly and he's been all right. I don't think we've seen dynamic potential come into play unless you count like David De Gea going up one overall, maybe, uh, because he's a bit older, you don't expect at his age, but we'll take it, getting to, yeah, overall of 90, uh, let me know your initial thoughts on that, but, yeah, we have a pretty strong, uh, pretty, we're not really struggling this season in terms of maybe fitness, or I think we manage the team uh, pretty well, so we're going to go ahead, always want to beat Liverpool, and most definitely the position we are, we can get our top spot back, so let's go into it. it okay, we've got to work this out well. Oh, Luke Shaw beats Mo Salah. 1-0 <laughs> to Luke Shaw there. And now get it through to Jaden Sancho. Jaden, play it across. Oh, was that a bad decision? Was that a... Oh. Okay. Is it in between? Not bad or good because we get a corner anyway. And we don't know if it would have been a goal. We don't know. Oh, okay, but we're looking dangerous early. Decent chance. Now Sancho. Oh, Jaden Sancho. We're getting the grips of dribbling. He's been a bit one that's gone under the radar this season. There hasn't been too much said about him. Like, nothing bad or nothing good with his signing. It's kind of, for someone of his level of yeah, quality and decent performances he's had. Ah, oh, look. Now Luke Shaw. Oh, Mo Salah. Mo Salah, your man. Your man is getting forward. And he's looking to create something. Now look at the overlap. Juan Bissaka. Oh, look. Oh, you see my idea there? It was Luke Shaw, but it didn't quite execute the cross. It would have been perfect if it did go just ahead of him. And, oh, that would have been good. So, interesting game so far. Yep, it's shaping up really good. But now, Luke Shaw, you got to get back. you got to get back. It's Mo Salah. Yeah, you can't let him. How did... I don't even know. I don't even know. And that costed us. That cost us? <laughs> oh, that little slip. I don't even know. You, you saw what happened, Luke Shaw. I don't even think I pressed tackle. And he went in like he did. So, well, there he is, Kent. Ah. Uh, no, no, this is going to be tough now. When you go behind early. Oh, did you see that, man? Firmino looked like he came out of nowhere. And they signed Rakitic as well, guys. Rakitic, they're beasting. I, I, I just mentioned it. Rak they've got a... Oh, wow. They've got a killer squad. And this is why we need to make our signings like we did with uh, yeah, Ericsson. Alexander left back for next season. Wow. Liverpool killing early. Killing us early. We can't hide behind it. They're unstoppable. And it's just... Yeah. 
it's all on me, as I said. No excuses, just... It was crap defending. Crap defending by me. <laughs> yeah, what else can I say? Uh, what else can I say? Here we go. Martial, break! Break, and now get it... Mm, I wanted that long, or more on it, to Martial, guys. Ah... Oh. So many times it doesn't play out how I want. Hopefully it doesn't lead to a goal against us. That could have been an opportunity. If it played out how I wanted. Ah, uh, no, no! Fucking. Fucking shit. Ah. Uh, and I'm not going to say the game or any player or me. <laughs> you don't know what I'm meaning in my mind. I'm just mad. I'm frustrated. I know this is going to look bad. and I know. I know. If I... See, what I wanted, I wanted that ball to go through to Martial. I held down Y for through ball, as almost powerful as I could. So it wasn't a short one. It ended up being a short one. Wish you understand... Or hopefully, hopefully you do understand my frustrations. Maybe you feel it yourself while you're playing. Cool. If Liverpool get another goal without us getting one, it's going to look... Yeah, 3 0. Okay, now! Go, 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 go! Run! Run at him, Martial. Then cut in nicely. Finish, B Fernandez! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, you, you, should, you should feel my heart, guys, right now. My heart's beating. Like, my heart's beating right now. Well, I mean, like, fast. So, it, it better be beating, or I pro I pro uh, you should be dead if it's not beating. But, far, oh, man. Like, when it's this kind of game, when we're down by this much, especially. In that you have no idea how much I'm hoping that goes in. <sighs> wow. Like my heart is on the line. Like playing these games. Ugh. Because I know I want you. I know you guys want me to do so well. You hate when I lose. I know. I know. I can. <laughs> I read that most definitely. And love when I perform well. But <laughs> yeah. So I'm always trying my very best. Hope you feel that through my commentary. Ugh. And this gives us. It, 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 a hope, but there's still a lot of work to be done. So we've got to continue to say focus. Oh, my guy, this is tough. If you keep winning, it gets boring. As much as you guys want to see lots of wins. <laughs> oh, no, why is everyone running? Oh, cheesy goal. Cheesy. How come they get so many of those? Guys, where's a... I need to make a fucking counter. I'm sorry for swearing. Swearing and not not a style of play, but I need to make a counter of every time the keeper saves it But it goes directly to their player Maybe it was bad defending and but I feel like the keeper did his job. Oh, he went off the back. Yeah. Oh, that's unlucky I know it wasn't the greatest of defending, but I mean ah, oh, There was an element of luck involved Now look Martial this is what we want Get it through. See, that's nice. Nah, 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 nah. I didn't go like that. But yeah, Liverpool just played it out. We found him so hard to break him down. We found it so hard to break him down. Credit to Liverpool, but we need to move. Nah, we need to move on from this. So that's guys. That's two bad results in a row. You can't lie. But they dominated us. No hiding behind it. We got a goal, sure. But Liverpool dominate. They they played better. They played better. They did better than me. And I am testing myself on ultimate now. Hardest difficulty because, yeah, no excuses. But we got to just advance. Forget our interviews. we got to get it on the training pitch. Training pitch and turn it around. And, th yeah, that's why we needed these big signings for next season. Compete in the Champions League. Yeah, we, we have weakness areas. It doesn't put us out of position too much, though, guys. I mean, we're still two points off top. Just not that game in hand. But... Chelsea, Liverpool are closer. So, at least for you guys, it's going to be an interesting interesting finish to the season. Keep in mind, if I won the league in the first season, well, we're not in Champions League. Imagine you win league and you were in Champions League. If you won everything in the first season, the series will be done. So, yeah, think about it, the longevity <laughs> the longevity of the series. Transfer offer for Fred. Oh, guys, do we entertain this? I feel... Fr I'm going to consider the offer... And try and get a good amount for him. Because I feel we played him in games. He hasn't done anything special. He's been okay, but not special. And we need spe we need game winners. Yeah? Just got to think about it. 
could we have an option to sign Ericsson now, like to make the deal quickly uh, or make the deal sooner? You can do that in Football Manager. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Those guys are coming. To see what we can negotiate. Yeah, negotiate for Fred. A maximum about 27 million. So, we'll try and get around that, to be honest. So, here we go. Let's go quickly into the negotiation, guys. Make most of this transfer period. I like doing transfers. Negotiating. Let's go 27 mil. 27 mil up front. I'm wondering, could that be accepted? Because it's within. It's within the market value. Oh! And see, he said we... Yeah, I understand we're not willing to part with Fred that easily. So, that was still a pretty good, uh, a good offer. Uh, so, at least we did it quickly. That's uh, that's the positive. It's a fee maybe we could have negotiated to. And we, uh, we we done it. So, that means we've got to keep... We've got to keep a transfer in mind. Take a look at our budget. Well, see, now, guys, the positive is... If we think about a signing that is... Where are we? We can lower this and give ourselves a bit more transfer budget. Maybe if we go for a really good player. Don't... I mean, don't forget, we, we got... Oh... Uh, yeah, we got Ericsson coming, so we got to think for next season. Like, I mean, we don't have many others on the shortlist. Like, we got Harmes Rodriguez. Don't forget, he's 28. Wow, hasn't he come along in his career? Always saw him as, like, a young lad, and he's he's pushing 30. But this is one lad that you guys have... I have seen him in the comments a little bit, so hopefully you agree with Ruben Neves. We're going we're gonna to chuck him on the shortlist, and then we let it mull. We let it mull for a little bit, try and be a bit realistic. Put him as a player we've got, got our eye on. And we've got a game. We've got a game up against Burnley. It's kind of easier, easier game. It's at home. How's Burnley going this season? See the 18. So yeah, as much as I did want to atone for my performance against Liverpool, Burnley. If if I won that anyway, you might say it's just Burnley should have won. So <laughs> with that logic, we'll go ahead to simulate it. Should get the. I was gonna say easy win. Just oh, I just crawled over the line there. One nil, even on the simulated game. So we're going to wait until, a f like, Fred officially leaves. He may not go through. <laughs> we He might reject it. So we've got to keep that in mind. Grant, yes, he's happy. and Well, I'm happy for him to leave. Hopefully that, yeah, the, the deal for Fred goes through. I think we negotiated. We got a good amount. So, yes, another one. Or we check our two messages first. Or McTominay, nah. I know, obviously, you'd want me to keep a lot of the core squad, especially a young uh, well, Scottish lad as well. From the U he's yeah uh, from the UK so we we don't want to sell these type of players uh, that's come up at Man United so we're gonna reject that but it always tells you a lad has good potential and he's a good player in FIFA when yeah other teams are coming for him decent team as well not amazing yeah Leipzig decent though uh, yeah we're gonna reject that and yeah with our next game it's over over a week away so we're just gonna oh look Chelsea signings being made everywhere <laughs> so should be beating nottingham nottingham forest see how this plays out for the lads three nil they got a red card late but the goals were already scored then so we didn't yeah we didn't need to ro rotate the team because of that reason okay let's see messages that we've got young transfer approach made ashley young so keep in mind yeah we've got a few positions one matter did i really bring <laughs> i'll say i'm proud of you See, one matters probably... See, he's one we might let go of next season. We'll try and sell. Keep that in mind. Then train up once more. All important players developing here. Morgan, the key is going to be real good. Greenwood. See, Greenwood could be a future striker as, as well. Come on, lads. I'm wondering, is this going to be the message? Fred sold. I had a feeling. So, yeah, 24 mil right to the budget. That's decent. So now we're going to be after Ruben Neves. Young, young central midfield talent. Yep, uh, a young, a young talent, young central midfielder. That see, he'd be better than McTominay, and I think he'd fit that role perfectly. That th that center defensive mid or center mid position. Again, already mentioned that discussion about when you're in a four-two-three-one. When you got two, when you got two, it's not like you got one holding. Yeah, they 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 play well together, play off each other really well. Anyway. That pushed our budget to 64 mil, so it would be amazing if we could sign Nevers for a similar price we sold for Ed. Yeah, see, guys, he's a center midfielder, but he's got high defensive work rate. 
So yeah, it doesn't say he's a centre defensive mid, but he easily can play more as a defensive central midfielder. Is there much difference between a defensive central midfielder and a centre defensive mid? <laughs> yeah, not too much. Uh, Four-star weak foot important. He's got a few traits there, but look at his attributes. See, he's very creative. He's more a defensive central midfielder with that high defensive work. He's like a deep-lying playmaker. He's a deep-lying playmaker. Not that strong, if you look at his strength, but got good vision. He's pretty composed. And then see more of his technical attributes. Yeah, he, he is very creative. You, may, you chuck him in the mix there with Christian Eriksen, who will join us next season. Yeah, very creative midfield it'll be for us. You've got playmaker, long shot taker, long park passer as well. So let's see what he'd cost. Okay, see, he would cost a little bit more, but selling Fred gave us that little bit of an extra kitty to make sure we do we do the transfer with still some money in the bank. So it's going to be in between, what, 32 and a half and 42 mil. So maybe in the high 30s being realistic. Let's go. I've always, I've rated him. Yeah, rated him pretty highly. So let's go in. No nonsense. No nonsense because he's a key target. Let's go 33 mil. 33 million, 3 million above his value. Let's see uh, what the Wolves party think about that. That's a fair offer. Okay. That's not too bad. Guys, you look at his value and obviously potentially he has no nonsense transfers. We've got no nonsense transfers today with our negotiations. So then uh, we just go to negotiate the deal. Hopefully this one can be pretty yeah, can be pretty straight to the point as well. So yeah, changes the aspect of our team for this season anyway. We needed that extra central, central midfielder. Here we go. He will be important player. To come in for McTominay, an instantly more creative player. Oh, they can play better balls through. Yeah. Oh, boy. Let's just make sure make sure we get it. Five-year deal. Tie him down until he's 27. Great period. Great period of his career. Having for the best period of his career, really. That's going to be real good. And his wage, uh, once more. You know how, how I go about it. We like to maybe try and drop the wage a little bit and not even too much. I think dropping to 70 won't get accepted. So let's drop it to 80. So it's just 3K less right there. So again, I think I said that in another go, another negotiation. 3K is a big difference maker. Maybe not for a footballer, but as I said for myself, uh, I'd be happy just to make 3K in a month. <laughs> nah, yeah, they, they're they begging for that extra 3K. See, they get the extra 3K and it's like nothing to them. But <laughs> oh boy, let's... <laughs> We're happy with focus on the transfer lad focus on the transfer. We've just bought a good We just got a, a good player that we've just improved for this rest of the season Sure, we've got Christian Eriksen coming uh, as a midfielder next season gonna be absolutely amazing I feel like so many players you sign get like credited as a top player. I'm not gonna complain about that I think Nevers. Yeah, he is great and with Matic he's gonna be on the outer We don't know Pereira next season. He's gonna be pushing 25. He's not gonna grow so much more so yeah, he could be on the outer. Neves, maybe. See, if Pereira was better, like maybe up to 80, we would have given him more chance ahead of McTominay. So now, we drop out one Mata, he's gone, and that's an improvement. Just That should improve the squad rating. If there was a squad rating indicator there, of yeah, the overall, that would have just boosted with putting Ruben Neves. How about that midfield? That you got Bruno Fernandes, Neves, Pogba, then Christian Eriksen to come next season. And that would probably, to be fair, that pushes Neves to the bench. But then you got Neves instead of McTominay as that one on the bench. And it has, it gives us better quality for subs. And that's what we want. That's what we want. We're improving the quality of the team. So yeah, there it, there it showed the signing for $33 million. So really, in the end, it was just a little more than we got Fred for. So it was like a like a swap. Not that he went to Wolves, but yeah, just with a little bit uh, of uh, extra money on it. <laughs> so for us, it would feel like a swap. Didn't really, uh, didn't really change too much. So well, funnily enough, we got Wolves in the next game. But this guys, this was a pretty pretty big episode. So for this, uh, Fosu Mensa Young broke down. Nothing new there. Nothing new. Fosu Mensa, he's an interesting one, guys. He's still young enough. I feel he's a guy you might want to try and get a look in more to the team. So we're going to reject that. Reject that a bit more. But he's, I guess, I say he's going to have to get better, but we need to play him more for him to get better. Do we use him instead of one Bissaka? But you, you can tell the difference in their overalls. 
And yeah, Wan Bissaka doesn't really get too tired. Anyway, guys, this video has gone long enough now. If I played another match, it'll be super long. Uh, that will be it for transfers. Even though it's on deadline day, we're not really going to do anything else unless there's a crazy offer late. We don't. Ex we don't. Yeah, we don't expect that. See, Neves set to replace Fred. So we're going to leave it here, guys. I know we had that disappointing performance against Liverpool, but hey, we're making we're making the right transfers. We're making the right transfers here. Uh, should we leave Ruben Neves number 17 or should we change it? What should be his number? Get up in the comments. But yeah, we'll leave it there for now. There's a lot of things maybe to leave your thoughts in the comments of. Uh, but yeah, with for the rest of this season, Ruben Neves, that extra central midfielder, was the signing we needed. Because McTominay playing, whoever it was, Matic, McTominay, Fred, wasn't good enough. Fred didn't provide enough. Even if you compare, because Fred was a higher rating. Nevers instead of Fred brings a bit more a bit creative ability, so that's going to change a bit much, a bit more to our attacking threat when we're playing through balls through, uh, playing through balls through. Yeah, when we're playing them through, uh, playing those balls into the attackers, they should be very accurate. It'll be out wide to you know when Martial makes that run, Rashford, Sancho as well. Yeah, it's it's a very mouth watering prospect. So yeah, look out for the next episode coming very soon because yeah, I know we definitely need to get a win again, get back on the winners list. But guys, we are we are still top. I know we simmed that last game. It was against Burnley, you know. We would have won that. So, yeah. We just need to keep winning. Hold on to top position. At the moment, we're winning the title. <laughs> we keep winning and we're going to have that in the bag. So, yeah, don't forget. We are top of the league. So, leave a like on the video, guys. If you want to see more of this series, make sure you like the video. Dislike means you do not want to see more Manchester United uploads. So, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. I'll see you guys next time.